RCBC is a robotics complex breach concept. And basically, the complex breach is one of the most dangerous missions that a maneuver element can undertake. So what we're trying to do is, is find ways to execute that same breach, that same maneuver, using robotic systems. What we're doing is actually taking surrogate systems, so things that we can actually employ on a battlefield, but things that we can roboticize. So we've got lots of uh, kind of new prototype technologies that are out here, and we try the concept out and see if it works. RCBC is uh, what we call a focused assessment. The focused assessment falls underneath a process that we manage in Strat D called the ARCIT Live Prototype Assessment. A focused assessment is done on an as needed basis. They're usually smaller than a, an Army or an ARCIT Live Experiment in AOE, but in this particular case, this is a major effort, so it's actually a little larger. But this one is a crawl, walk, run approach at a risk reduction event for what we hope to be the future joint warfighting assessment opportunity where we can wrap the capability into the event itself. Well, right now we're, we're really focused on getting soldier feedback. All the systems, um, we get soldiers that are trained on them and they're gonna operate them and then basically get their feedback. So the ones know how the systems, the technologies work um, best in terms of what we have today. And we're looking at these new systems that we're bringing the vendors in here to play with. And based on the soldier feedback that we get, it looks like it's a viable concept. And we'll be able to either put money into or continue developing that capability, bring it to another duration of this event. Tardic uh, served as the lead systems integrator for the RCBs. Uh, we got soldier feedback, which is always uh, excellent. They can tell us the things that, that we don't see inside of the lab or in our own limited tests. The feedback from events like this helps Tardec understand what the actual requirements are, uh, since everything that we build is, is based on requirements. So we need to understand this is what's nice to have, this is what is required, and if we are able to couple together these capabilities into single platforms, or maybe a couple of platforms that all interoperate, uh, we're able to do all the things that we want to do, both operationally and technically. Part of the experimentation that we are doing is force on force soldier based. What we have are developing concepts, and we are looking at the key elements of those concepts that make them work and put these either prototypes or surrogates in the hands of soldiers. We allow the soldiers to execute them, but we're also trying to ensure that the Army has its science and technologies, future investments pointed in the right direction. Uh, this is a data point in the larger campaign of learning, and so it's all about getting systems out to the field rapidly so that we can experiment and then taking them back into the lab so that we can uh, make them even better. So essentially, what are the things that we need to learn about whether it's new, new subsystems, new technologies, capabilities, how do we define those and better inform the future development, the future army of things that we're going to need to fight those battles. It's hard to know what the battlefield is going to be like in you know, 2025, 2030, so we try and forward think as much as we can using intelligence. Obviously, we need to know what the threat's going to be because our army is threat focused. So we're looking at you know, major threats or near peer type threats. So we've got to figure out what it is that they're doing and find ways to counter that. Also, how do we maintain an overmatch? How do we as an army maintain enough capability that we know we're going to go into a fight and we're going to win it? Failure is, is, is an option here because it allows us to, to figure out what works and what doesn't work because this isn't the end state for us. The intent is to, to actually um, just try some new concepts out. If they work, great. We'll continue to, to develop them and try and get a better capability out of it. If not, we'll, we'll look elsewhere.